Charlie, this is our first snow day together. How amazing is that? Sport is a metaphor for life. That's what I've always thought. That's what I've heard people say. Okay, yeah, my channel is a ski channel. Ski instruction, ski technique, ski improvement. Uh, no skiing right now. So I'm sharing with you moments that I had as a World Cup athlete that shifted my life. That were lessons that I called upon uh, for my entire life. Oh, thanks for sharing that with us, Charlie. Okay, back to it. So uh, the lesson that I want to share with you all this time is how I dealt with superstition in my life. I knew as a youngster, uh, and I was a superstitious youngster, that superstitions were going to be really inconvenient at the wrong time. And that if I was going to be a successful ski racer, I'd have to learn how to deal with my superstitions. So as a 15-year-old, 16-year-old, I don't remember exactly how old I was, basketball was my favorite sport. So I went to the neighborhood gym with my basketball, and I went to the free throw line and shot free throw after free throw for hours. But not normal free throws. This gym became my mental gym. I was very intentional, very deliberate, and whatever my superstition was at the time, and I don't remember, maybe I had to put my right sock on before my left sock, I don't know. But I did that. I put my right sock on first, and then my left sock, and I'd take that free throw as if the world depended on it. The world was relying on me. I did that over and over and over again to take the power of superstition away in my life. I was also playing with mental distraction at that time so that I could get into the start gate of a World Cup race and not have to worry about inconvenient thoughts. And superstitions are inconvenient, un unproductive thoughts was how I looked at it. And uh, that's my story and how I dealt with superstition. And superstition uh, never was an issue in my life from that point forward. I think I ought to share an important backdrop to that story. Uh, that as I was 15 or 16 years old, there was no coach or parent, anybody that told me how to do that exercise or that I even should do that exercise. See, nobody even knew I was superstitious. I think what's important about people who really make it, young athletes or whatever is that, people understand what their strengths are, what their liabilities are, and uh, they leverage and deal with both. Superstition was my liability. I felt a way to, I figured out a way to deal with that. And it wouldn't have worked if my parents told me to go out and do that, right? So uh, just a little context. Kind of a cool lesson to learn as a 15 year old. Let's go, Charlie. Okay, where are my tracks? I lost my tracks. We gotta go back. <laughs> That's the nice thing about snowshoeing is you can't get lost, but these tracks right here are not my original tracks. I think my original tracks are over here. Come on, Charlie, let's go. 